Hey, what's going on, you sneaky foxes? My name's Jekyll, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. This is episode 3, and if you guys remember last time, we managed to escape the Crimson Crow's hideout after the Renans um, had attacked it. Now we have made our way over to Ulzebek, and we are hoping to gain get some new clothes on for Xion, because we are in rags right about now. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy the video, please consider um, hitting that like button. And if you guys want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And also, um, if you want to um, tell me anything, just um, leave a comment down below. I really want to hear from you guys. But without further ado, let's get started. Are we really going to bet it all on Iron Mask and his Renan lady friend? I'm sure I like. I'm not sure I like our odds. Well, if Zephyr says they're good, it must be um, true. We'll just have to trust them. Okay, what's this? Okay, Lisa. Na Naves, I'm still um, talking to the others. You'll um, find him outside. You should go say hi to him. Okay, how about this one? You're not. You're not only um, new here, you don't remember much at all, right? Well, if you've got any questions, lay them out and I'll see what I can tell you. Oh, wow! There's a lot of questions! Uh, what are Zoogles? What are Astral Arts? What can you tell me about the Renans? What are you guys doing in Olzebek? How do um, the Renans um, fight? And what's our group's goal? Okay, yeah, all of these questions I pretty much already know. What's our group's goal to free ourselves? Um, how, how do the Renans fight? Um, well, with um, big sor swords and astral arts, what are you guys doing in Ulzebek? Pro probably in up here after freeing themselves um, from being slave enslaved. What can you tell me about the, re the Renans? Okay, yeah, that, that one I pretty much don't know, except except that they um, live in the gi giant castle in the in the sky. What are Zoogles? They are basically just wolves. And what are astral arts? They are, well, arts from um, all living things. So I'm just going to ask, what is this? The big planet in... Um, in the sky is there a home world, Renna, while well, the smaller object is Len Lenigus, the stronghold and where the bright eyes came from. Oh, and about that name, we call them bright eyes because their eyes light up whenever they use their astral arts. Pretty simple, right? Likewise, they lo love to call us embedded, um, embedded since we're or embedded with spirit core as soon as we're born. But when someone joins the Crimson Crows, they dig the theirs out. It's our way of showing we're not slaves to anybody any longer. The big shot ran, ran in and charged the lords. Um, they were, di um, wear different outfits from, the, wear different outfits from the rest. They're made, um, of basic fabric and stick out like a sword thumb. Anything else you wanted to ask about? Uh, no. That's all I wanted to know. All right. Well, if you think you have something you need to ask, just let me know. Okay. Uh, what, what, what do you say, Suffer? The other members and I are going to devise our plan of attack. I have to let. Let them know um, that I intend to make you guys the centerpiece of the whole operation. Okay. So, I guess we better go um, talk to the guy out here. Okay, but before I do that, let's quickly really take what's here? over in here. Who knows, but I took it anyway. Nath, we need your help. Ah, oh, damn. Never the manpower when you... Huh? Help, huh? What kind? Is it urgent? Well, no, not exactly. Well, in that case, would you mind helping me out with something first? The work's really piled up around here. What is it you'd like us to do? Anything you can manage. No one cares about us slaves. That's why it's all the more important that we stick together and take care of each other. Check in with that guy over there for details of what needs doing. And thanks in advance. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Hey. Nave sent, sent us. He heard you might yes. be a little short-handed. You could say that. Didn't think he'd send over the Iron Mask himself, though. That a bright eyes with you? You sure we can tr <sighs> really trust her? She's on our side. Hmm. Zephyr can vouch for her. Mm, his effort is good, good with her, then I guess we don't have a problem. Uh, what the hell? The name's Dairen. I'm the one who runs this lodge. This is a lodge? But we all already have our own beds. We don't sleep on straw and rock-hard dirt around here. The Crimson Crows um, have their fair share of folks who are either knocking on death's door or can't otherwise move around openly. That's what this place is here for, to give people a place to rest up and properly before they head off to fight. Everybody needs their rest. If you don't rest, you... You can't hope to fight the bright eyes at their Guess. at your best. Makes sense. What do you want us to do then? I need you to help help haul in some cargo. I have some friends who, 
were on their way to collect it from our um, hideout in the Zeon mine. The mines. Is that really such a good idea after the Renans um, snuffed the place out? There, these are valuable items people risk their lives to gather. We need to get at least some of them back. They should be down, down around the set. Then there's Ravine at this point. Meet up with them and help bring the supplies back to this lodge. Got it. You're welcome to use the facility if you need need to. As well, I'll let you sleep here for free. Okay, start quest. Supply um procurement. Okay, subquest. Talking to someone with a letter icon will start the subquest. Clearing these subquests will earn you your rewards, and you can accept as many of them as you like. You can also check um each of their objective objectives um from the activity records. I had no idea the Crimson Crows were so active. You sound pretty thrilled by that. Thrilled? Maybe. But I'll settle for hopeful. We know now that not everyone is rolling over for the Renans. What? They're all dead? How did this happen? Soldiers, that's how. Are you... Iron Mask? <laughs> yeah, I am. Dairon sent me to help. Hang in there! I'm so glad you made it. In the bushes over there, you'll... Hang on! Sion, do something! It's no use. He's already dead. <laughs> Damn them! They've killed so many of us, and it's still not enough! They won't be satisfied until they've wiped us all out like pests! <sighs> he mentioned something about those bushes. We should check them. Is this... a cooking pot? But what is it doing here? If I had to guess, he put it there to make sure a Renan wouldn't steal it. So even though he knew he was dying, he chose to use the last of his strength to hide it, believing somebody would come for it. I guess you think it's stupid getting killed over a silly trinket, huh? No. Clearly he risked his life for something he believed in. I would never mock someone for that. However... It will be up to us to figure out the purpose behind his dying act. We'll make sure it wasn't in vain. If nothing else, this proves that the Renans can be outsmarted. We'll carry out your will, and see it through to the end. Then we better get going. We don't know when those soldiers might be back to make another sweep of the area. Okay. Done with the quest, back, and now, just hand it in. <laughs> Damn, so nobody made it, huh? I'm sorry, if we'd arrived just a little sooner, we could've... Hey, these things happen. It hurts, but this is the world we live in. I'll take good care of what you brought back. It's the only way we can respect the sacrifice of those we've lost. Hey, when da when's daddy coming back? Oh no, hmm. that's the guy's kid. Not yet, sweetie. Your dad's gone away for a while, and... Don't... Don't lie to me. He's dead, isn't he? <laughs> I know that whenever um, grown-ups look sad and say some someone's gone, they always mean they're dead. Daddy always warned me that this might happen one day. He told me to stay strong and be brave. So I... I... <laughs> this isn't right. Poor kids shouldn't have, have to be dragged into our own mess. Let's report back to Nave and, see, and then get ready to fight. Rebellious Spark. Emblem obtained. Iron Mask. Re Rebellious Spark. What I what's in a name? That's a pretty curious achievement, but anyway. Um, skill, Counter Edge. After a perfect evade um, or performing guard, press Q to trigger an immediate attack. Okay. Emblem obtained. Iron Mask. Veteran Samurai. Orochi's Glacial Fury, a hidden art that opens with a flurry of slashes while stepping forward um, before wiping up a tornado. Okay. Embedded, 
emblem obtained, Iron Mask, Beach Hero. Howling is a restore hidden art that fires off a pair of water blades um, for a two-hit attack. Emblem obtained, Iron Mask, um, straight pl <laughs> last schoolboy. Plasma Shock, a hidden art that kicks an enemy up into the air before shoving them back down and striking them with lightning. Emblem obtained, Shion, Scarlet ba Battle Maid. Um, Sion incident, hidden art that sends um, Shion spitting at as she rains wind bullets um, on the battlefield in every direction. Emblem obtained, Shion, Seaside Queen. Ice Tornado, an intermediate water art that spins up a vicious tornado composed of snow and ice. Emblem obtained, Shion, New Girl in Class. Gray, an intermediate light art that unleashes scores of light beams from the heavens. Titles, as you fulfill certain requirements for each of your characters, you'll earn titles for them, which unlock um, arts and skills that they can then learn, making um, fight, fights easier. You can view the... Um, you can view ti title unlock requirements from the skill panel. Okay, skill panel. Summary. You can spend skill points or SP to learn, learn arts and res um, skills from unlocked titles, all of which grant powerful effects, making it worth your while um, to spend SP early and often. The skill panel can be accessible directly by pressing B. Skill or, or arts or skill notifications. If there is a skill you want to learn but just don't have the SP for yet, um, highlight it in the um, skill panel and press F. Doing so will turn on an alert that will notify you once you have enough SP to finally unlock it. Okay, that's pretty useful. Hmm. Escape, escape artist. Or was. Let's see. How about go to here? Veteran Samurai. I kind of want, want to check this. A veteran samurai like, clad in red armor. Issues helmets. Um. Helmets out of fear of one getting struck. I'm stuck. Okay. Skill. Increase attack, elemental attack when surround. Increase attack and elemental strength based on the number of enemies targeting you. Okay, so I've got 3,300 um, SP that I can use. So... I don't yet know what I'm gonna do. Okay, but it seems like the SP is um, linked to that person themselves. So, for now, so I'm gonna um, select this. Okay, increase attack and elemental attack strength while the effects from cooking are, are active. Okay, I don't really have any cooking yet, so that doesn't really matter. But KO prevention allows you to endure an attack with one HP remaining one time when taking an attack that would otherwise normally KO you. That That's pretty helpful for someone like me who is pretty reckless at the moment because I'm still figuring out um, certain controls. Okay, increase attack or attack when full. Uh, hmm. Increase attack and elemental attack strength when near death. Uh, allows you to endure it. Okay, yeah, this will be good for her. her even though it's, she doesn't really get. isn't really thrust into battle that often. You can still make, it, make things easier. Makes it easier to inflict physical ailments on enemies. Makes it easier to inflict physical ailments on enemies. Okay, so... Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to do with her yet. Raise the boost gauge every 10 hits during a combo. Okay, yeah, this would be pretty useful for her. I don't know how many times she really hits, but... I mean, things that are connected to the combo are pretty um, useful overall. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to connect with um, Iron Mask. Increase the amount of boost gauge added upon under being an enemy. Well, there we go. Guess that's enough for now. We can't chase after every little thing. Maybe not. I'm skeptical. Is there things? He must have gone through this um, sand in this ravine to get here, right? Is that Zugul still out there? Big guy, looks like an insect with wings, has um, size for arms. Yeah, we saw it. Looked big and pretty tough to boot. That's the one. It's hard to feel safe knowing it's still out there. I'd really like to see it get its um come up uppins once of the one of these days. Especially since the people that deliver that um come uppins are gonna enjoy a pretty mighty payday on account of all of the materials that were on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Yep. Zugo materials are imbued with astral energy, so the stronger they are, the more energy their materials attain. We can we could use them to make um, new weapons and stand up to Rena a little better, even with our Astro Art handicap. With the uh, odd um, stray, I can usually gather a few people and get the mm. materials myself. But something that, that big's bound to be beyond my capabilities, if only there was a good way to beat it. But something that big's bound to be beyond my capabilities. Oh yeah, you already said oh, that. All right. 
Alright, we'll take it on. I don't see the harm in us check checking out. Do you hear what you're saying? We've got we've got enough to worry about as it is without inviting even more danger. Your Ren and Pal's right. I know you're strong, but I think you Whoops, I accidentally skipped that. It's not like I need need you guys to take it down for us right away, but how should I put it? If anybody but he has a shot at it, I think it'll still be you guys eventually. Once you feel like you're up to the challenge, that's, that is. When you are, would you be willing to give it a shot? You can bring other people Gosh. along with you to help, of course. Sure, that sounds fair. We'll get, get it done taken care of um, for you sooner or later. Okay, giant Zulu hunt. I was planning on taking that, that guy on anyway, so now that it's a side quest, I might as well do it right now. Defeat the Mantis in the um, Sand in this Ravine. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can take it on. If I can't, I'll just continue on with the story. That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it right now. Maybe not, but I still want to try it. So I'm gonna save. Okay, not. I'm gonna save. I'm here, and then take my chances at it after I've collected this thing over here. Antidote rocket. Okay, and now. Let's take this thing on. Level 43! Okay, yeah. I may have overestimated this a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna end it. Recovering from party defeat. When the party wipes out in a normal fight and loses, it costs CP to recover in that same area. Well, um, you'll still return to the same area even with no CP. You won't recover HP, meaning that retreating to um, a cure CP can still be wise. Okay, so. Tried to take it on, it didn't work, so I'm not gonna take it on. Because level 43, I mean, really? Nope, there's no way in the hell I'm gonna be able to take on level 43 when I'm just level 6. That's just asking for trouble. And I'm not really in the mood to be, to sit here and farm for the next 10 hours just to be able to get to level 20 or so. Which means another, like, 40 or 50 hours in order to get, get to level 40. So I'm just gonna continue on with the story and progress. I'll come back, back to that Sounds eventually, like but not now. Out there. Much as I hate to admit it, there aren't many of us who can take on those Ren and armored soldiers. All we can do is make sure we remember those who sacrificed their lives for the cause. Yeah, they won't be forgotten. Glad to hear it. Now, what was that favor you wanted to ask me? Oh, right. Well, you see... So then, you're wondering if I know of any places where you can find Renan equipment, huh? Anywhere with those damn bright eyes is gonna have tight security, of course. You can't just go carelessly poking around. Unless... Across the wilderness, outside Ulzebek, you'll find the Fagan Ruins. There's some kind of old Renan castle out there. What with it being impenetrable, I forgot. But with a Renan tagging along, who knows? Maybe you can find some way in. When you ask me, though, it's a lot of trouble for some Renan rags. If I were you, I'd get comfortable with Danon guards. Those look like the ruins. Let's move. Are we really going in there? Yes. Now let's move. <sighs> look, any equipment um is worth checking it out just to see if it's at least better. Whether it be Renan or Danon, it doesn't matter. All right. Am I really doing this for some life? Ugly wastes. <gasps> there are Zugals here too. Hey. You should, should always assume there's Zugals anywhere you go. There's one. They're one of the reasons I need you all. We're a team after all, and that means you need to pull your weight. So when I call for you, I expect you to clear out any enemies around me. What? Why do I have to do all that? In exchange, when you call for me, I promise I'll shoot down any enemies around you too. Right. Sounds fair. Sound fair? Yeah. All right. If you don't get get in the habit of speaking up during fights, though, Im that'll impact morale and our ability to combo together. So make sure to do it often. Got it? Looks like the enemy spotted us. Time to get to work. You don't have to tell me that. All right. So now they're actually introducing a new, new mechanic. Boost attacks. You can summon allies in combat to use their unique boost attacks. Once the boost gauge or BG is full, press corresponding 1, 2, 3, or 4 direction um, to execute. These moves can be followed up with more um, attacks afterwards and also restore AG when used. 
Um, although the boost gauge builds up automatically over time, it can be filled up faster by landing attacks and counter edge on enemies as well. Okay. Iron Mass boost attack. Um, initiate a brute force swing attack that can down, down almost any enemy. Use it to get allies up deep trouble and create openings for additional attacks. Tutorial start. After using an art, activate Iron Mass boost attack to restore AG. Okay, Shion's boost attack. Fi fires numerous beams of light on from the muzzle of Shion's rifle. Effective on aerial enemies, it temporarily restricts their uh, flight abilities and downs them. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. I kind of like the com combat system now that it's ex starting to explain it a little bit more. There we go. Success. Alright. Boost attacks. Teaming up with other party members for boost attacks allows you to keep attacking enemies together. Different members work on better against um, different type enemy types, so don't be afraid to mix and match um, to maintain the upper hand in battle. Okay. You picked the wrong fight. Let the marksman handle this. this. You're finished. This. Rising water. Nice to get you on. You're slapped. Step it up. Yeah. You got it. Looks like you've got the hang of it, but don't um, let it go to your head. These were easy ones. <sighs> I know, I know. I can feel my oh, precision improving. Fun. Get it. Time to move move up. Okay. Okay, just quickly collect like this. Potatoes. Oh, we got a treasure chest. What's in here? 500 so gals. Fake in ruins? How'd you figure a place like this turns derelict? Your guess is as good as mine. I didn't even know this place existed until we heard about it. All that matters to me is whether I can find anything to wear in there. Why does she care so much about her appearance? There. Oh, well. I mean, I don't really want to. Don't want to say anything that's going to sound defensive. So I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. Anyway, Guess moving on. Landing. Yeah, hey, a bit. Where does your gun come from? What do you mean, That's where does question. it come from? When you're fighting, it looks like it just appears out of nowhere. Oh, that's transferal technology. When I don't need my weapon, I submerge it in empty space. And when I do, I summon it. Make sense? Not really, but it sounds pretty amazing. Huh? Well, that way you don't have to carry around any heavy weapons or worry about enemies trying to steal them, right? It's a pretty cool invention. You realize you're praising the technology of your enemies, right? So? Technology is technology. It's not good or bad in and of itself. I guess that's true. I say Iron Mask can kind of get the thing down. I mean, the way I see things is the same um, when it goes for weapons. A weapon isn't inherently good or bad, it only um, determines um, its alignment in the hands of a certain person. So if the person who's using the weapon is a bad person, then of course it's an evil weapon. But that's just my opinion. I wonder if those are the Fagin ruins below us. Shouldn't be too much farther now, if that's the... Uh... I guess it's been a while since I had a bite to eat. Don't worry about me. I'm used to working while I'm hungry. It's no big deal. It is a big deal. You should eat whenever you can. The last thing I need is you keeling over in the middle of a fight just because you didn't eat. Never thought I'd get lectured <laughs> on eating by a Renan, of all people. <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. funny how things turned out, Some eh? of us Renans know what it's like to go without food, believe it or not. What do you mean? I thought... This isn't about me. Now, are you going to eat or not? I would, if we had anything to eat. But we don't. <sighs> Actually, I have a little bit of food on me. You've been carrying that stuff around this whole time? I'm not sure it's going to be enough for the both of us, though. That's why we're going to cook it instead. 
cook. Okay, so we're I've finally never getting done anything like that before. Cooking. Me neither, to be honest. But we've got to make something out of all this, so might as well try. All right. At camps and inns, you can cook meals, um, conferring temporary effects when eaten. New dishes can be made um, by finding recipes, while ingredients can be found at collection points and general stores. Eating a new meal overrides any previous effect. Favorite meals. Depending on who in the party cooks a meal, the extent of their effects and their duration will vary. As such, it's wise to rotate who's on cooking duty based on your current goals and the party's overall status. Okay. And so right now, I pretty much ha have the stuff in order to cook all of this, but I pretty much can't because it's not selectable. So let's just do porridge. All done. Come and eat. You really do eat through that mask of yours, huh? I'm impressed you can manage so well. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. You get used to it after a while. Still, I'm glad we decided to stop and fill our stomachs. I've got a newfound respect for cooking now. But I guess that's easy when you're used to eating everything raw. It would have been perfect if it had any flavor. Sorry it didn't live up to your palate. Oh, no, that wasn't a knock on you. I was just... Sorry, that's not how I should thank you for cooking for me. You've got me curious now. Is it just pain you can't sense, or are your taste buds shot too? Oh, sure, my taste buds work fine. Although, apparently what I like tends to be a little out there. How so? What's so unusual about what you eat? Well, one time I couldn't get enough of these things I picked off a plant, but everyone else said they were way too spicy. Doc thinks maybe I crave spicy food to compensate for the lack of pain I feel. Maybe it's best I take charge of the cooking. You know, just to be on the safe side. I yeah, I why she's gonna end up with spicy food. Tastes, though. I said I'm sorry. Look, I'll learn to tone down my tastes in the future, so let's just put that slip of the tongue behind us already. <laughs> you better hope so. Alright. Emblem obtained. Shion, speedy chef. Hey what's going on, Future Jackal here. Thanks for watching to the very end of the video. It really means a lot to me that you guys actually want to see um the entire video. But it would also mean a lot to me if you actually hit that like button down below. It doesn't take all that much time. Just scroll down and hit that thumbs up button and it will tell um you actually enjoyed this video or not. But anyway, if you guys want to see see more, um hit that notification bell and if it doesn't show show, that's because you haven't subscribed yet. What are you doing? But anyway, um also comment down below. Um tell me about about um what I can improve um, when it comes to these videos because I really want to uh, make it a little bit more entertaining. But that'll be all, all from me. And I hope to see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye.